Quimsy Ghost Friends. Each one has its own personality, from the playful trickster to the gentle comforter and brave protector. They're like your own little companions, bringing something special to your life. Hey there, enchanting soul. Today, I'm excited to share with you one of my newest creations from fairytaleapothecary.com. I want to share how these ghosts came to life and what inspired them. Let's talk about some of the materials I used. To shape my ghosts, I take a piece of wire, twist the bottom of it, make a small ball out of clay and stick it into one end of the wire. I let the clay air dry. Then I cut out small round pieces of white cloth, dip them in a mixture of 50% white glue and 50% water, squeeze out the excess, drape it over the clay and metal structures, and make some folds. Then I let the ghost dry. Now let's start our story while I show you the next steps. As all tales, ours begins with Once upon a time, in the heart of the whispering woods, next to Mountain View Hollow, lies a hidden realm brimming with magic and wonder, Whimsy Hollow, a realm only visible to those who truly believe in magic. It changes colors with the seasons. You would love it there. This enchanting place, alive with playful energy, was once inhabited only by shimmering glowing lights that drifted like floating fireflies. But one day, the glowing lights craved more, more laughter, more playfulness, and especially companionship. So the glowing lights began to take form, shaping into tiny playful spirits, the whimsy ghosts. They were born from the heart of Whimsy Hollow, imbued with pure joy and wonder. Some were cheeky and mischievous, while others were gentle and calm, filling the realm with giggles, pranks, and endless adventures. But even amidst the lively magic, the ghosts felt a longing for connection, sensing that their true purpose lay beyond the enchanted borders of their home. Curious about the human world, the whimsy ghosts sneaked into Mountain View Hollow and began to explore. Mountain View Hollow? Oh, it's that little town next to the mountains by the Whispering Woods, where I like to visit every time I need a little bit of peace and quiet and when I need a sprinkle of magic in my life. Sorry for interrupting, let's get back to the story. The ghost noticed that humans lacked a little enchantment in their lives. Little kids still dreamed of magic and fairies, but as they grew, the magic within them was sometimes lost in the day-to-day -day chores and duties, and they noticed how hard living in a human world and growing up could sometimes be. So they started to bring joy through harmless pranks and a sprinkle of magic to the human inhabitants of Mountain View Hollow. Whimsy 
Pussy ghosts love children. There's nothing they cherish more than bringing joy and laughter to the little ones. Oh, by the way, after the draped cloth on the ghost dries, I painted with some white acrylic paint. Some of my ghosts, like the cheerful motivator and the creative dreamer, are glittery. So for those ones, I sprinkle them with either the Bling It Gold Diamond from Color Art or with my Angel Halo Fairy Dust from FairyTaleApothecary.com while the paint is still wet. This allows the sparkly powders to stick to the paint. Then I let the ghost dry once more before painting a face on them with black nail polish. Let's continue our story. As the ghosts observed the delight their antics brought, they realized their true calling to be cheerful companions for human children and adults as well, offering comfort, joy, and a little bit of magic. They realized that the human world needed them, and so they began offering themselves for adoption, waiting for the moment when a human's heart was ready for a whimsical companion. And when that time comes, a ghost from Whimsy Hollow crosses the enchanted border, leaving behind their magical home to become a loyal friend to their new little human, bringing wonder and warmth into their life. They each bring something different to their new friend. Some bring inspired curiosity and creativity, while others bring wisdom, laughter, innocent mischief, adventure, protection, comfort, and motivation. As the whimsy ghosts found their purpose in bringing magic and joy to others, I found myself reflecting on why they resonated with me so deeply. Then I realized something. The whimsy ghost story is my story. You see, with the holidays approaching, I started thinking about why I enjoyed them so much. And I realized that it was because of all the magical memories I had had about them when I was a child. Halloween and Christmas, those weren't just holidays. They were entire worlds full of wonder, excitement, traditions, and magical memories that my parents worked so hard to create. As a parent, I carried those traditions forward from handmade Halloween costumes to using innocent tricks to create little magical moments for my own children during Christmas. But now that my kids are all grown up, I felt a soft ache in my heart, missing those special times. I miss the excitement in their eyes and the joy of creating memories for little munchkins. While I can no longer create these type of memories for my own children, I've come to realize that I can still bring joy to other children, including my own grandbabies. I can help other parents or grandparents create happy, magical memories for their families through the content and products I create. Whether it is through potion kits, family activity ideas, or whimsical creations like my ghosts, I can help others create magical memories and lasting family bonds. So let me show you how I finish my ghost creations. I add texture to the lids of my jars by mixing some black acrylic paint with baking soda and sand until I get a thick mixture. Then I apply this mixture onto the lids with a tapping motion rather than swiping. Then I let them dry.
It's time to create the inside environment for my ghost. I use hot glue to glue pieces of round wood, moss, mushrooms, and flowers to each other. I also glue on some glow-in-the-dark pebbles and other little rocks. I need some mushrooms, so I will make them from small hot glue dots and I make sure they're completely cool before I peel them off from my plastic surface. Then I cut a small piece of wire and insert the tip into my hot glue gun to heat it up and get some glue on the tip. Then I insert it into the center of a glue dot. I then paint the mushrooms with nail polish. Then I glue them to the moss and I have also glued on some flowers to the moss but because they're plain white they don't really look very nice so I add some clear nail, nail polish to the surface of the petals and then I sprinkle them with either the gold diamond bling it mica powder from Color Art or angel halo fairy dust from fairytaleapothecary.com Here are how the flowers look with these different powders on them Sorry, my camera was just not able to capture the sparkle on the flowers, but they look beautiful in person. You can also use interference, sparkle, or the diamond bling it powders, or any super fine glitter. Sometimes I also simply glue the moss inside the jars with some triart liquid glass or clear glue. I add glow-in-the-dark pebbles and let everything dry. I glue the pieces of wood with moss inside the jar with some super glue. And while that dries, I paint the texture on the jar lids with some prism pour paints by Color Art. I use Tiger's Eye, Scarab Beetle, and True Silver Colors. I do what is called dry brush painting technique. I start by barely dipping my brush into the Scarab Beetle paint and lightly brushing it over some areas of the lid. This will give the lid a green patina. Then I dry brush some of the tiger's eye color, which is sort of a coppery color. I apply it very lightly so the color doesn't get into the grooves, but instead stays on the top of the texture. I 
I finish it off with some silver to highlight some areas. The last step is to glue the ghost inside the jar. Just like my whimsy ghost who followed their heart and intuition, leaving their magical realm for a new adventure with human friends, I've come to a crossroads. I had a choice, stick to my current path with fluid art or dive into something new, something that brings families together through magical products designed to inspire imagination and create lasting memories. At first, I resisted the idea of shifting the content and creative focus of my YouTube channel and websites. I felt a sense of duty to stay on the path I had started. And don't we often think that once we're on a certain path, we're stuck? That changing directions means we've failed? But you know what? That's not true. We're human. We grow. We discover new ideas. Our passions and goals change and that is okay. It's not failure. It's just the start of a new chapter, just like my whimsy ghost experienced. I've decided to embrace my new passion for creating joy in the lives of children and helping parents craft magical memories. Yes, it's different. Yes, it's unexpected. But like my free-spirited whimsy ghosts, I'm following my heart and going where it leads. Now I'm working on even more ways to bring magic into everyday life. Family games, crafts, painting tutorials, and fun activities like potion kits, which will be available on fairytaleapothecary.com. My goal is to help parents connect with their children and ignite a sense of wonder and imagination. And as most of you know, this collaboration marks the end of color art for Leslie, our color mama, as some of us call her. But it's also a new and exciting chapter for her. She's following her heart towards new horizons that will bring her joy. Leslie, we love you. You know we're going to miss you, but we will still see you around on your YouTube channel. Everyone's wishing you the best in your new adventure. By the way, this is our family of color art affiliates. We're still going to hang around in our YouTube channel, so don't forget to visit and subscribe to each artist. And now I'm going to give you the last clue to complete the secret phrase that will allow you to participate in this event's giveaway. All the details for the giveaway are listed below in the description box of this video. Look, changing paths can be scary. We might feel uncertainty, maybe even some nostalgia for what we're leaving behind. But life is an adventure. We should embrace life with the same spirit of adventure and openness as the free-spirited whimsy goats. We should not be afraid to follow our passions, even if they lead us somewhere unexpected. So, if you've ever felt torn about changing direction, whether it's your career, a hobby, a relationship, or leaving behind something that no longer brings you joy, remember, it's okay to let go. Step into something new. 
Life is a journey, and it's never too late to embrace the magic of a fresh start. Remember, magic isn't just found in fairy tales. It's something we create every day through the choices we make and the dreams we follow. Trust your heart and let it guide you.